Which category you want, Nick? Pizza Pad 1000. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice. Welcome, one and four, to night 204. Wait a minute. Is it really 204? Yeah, it would be. I'm pretty sure. Uh, check the tape. Check online. Hang on a second, folks. Also, you'll check online. Laura, wait. I will sing out a song. Well, today's a very last Hang on a second, folks. While we wait, we'll get the Jeopardy Mikey, thinking music. I got the trigger, Mikey. <laughs> uh, let me put this out of the way. Cool. Yeah, it is 9204. Holy cow, it's been that fast, yeah. Wow. It is really 9204, a <laughs> Boy, time is flying fast, if you could ask me. That's for sure. Yeah. As you see right now, we got totaling a seven Skype guest and a and the phones of. Okay, we just lost one, but he'll be back. He'll be back. We got seven Skype guests and the phones of Ada Kodak Seven. Always got production. Oh, hey, NWB 1999. Hey, slow down! Slow down! Okay. <laughs> we got Ada Kudok 7, the Always got production studios. NWB 1989. We, we will get him back. Larry 4009 with Mario. Hello! Michael's Paradise. Hey! hey I'm not. You don't forget you! I will not say one thing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, Cody. I don't know what the hell, you stupid as shit. I'm just <laughs> oh. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm And that's how you shut up the annoying red plumber. We got Michael's Paradise. Mikey. Oh, <clears throat> what is it? I said Michael's Paradise. Oh, I'm sorry. Aloha. Let me kill my music. <laughs> oh, it's your baby, though? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have a baby. It's, a, it's, a, it's a baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> now we got NWB 1989 with S. Koopa. Yep. And we got oh, Lady and Old Fox with S. Koopa. I'll deal with that and later. Get away! Get away, Dr. Pepper! No! 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 Eugene's got Dr. Pepper. Um, yes, we got Miss yes, Mr. Yes, Tsunami yes, Suna. Yes! Hello. Oh! And then no. got his too! No! Get away! Oh! Oh! I, I got know. Dr. Pepper. Yeah! And we I'm got Coley on one, Team Viewer. Hey, what should we name this oh, baby? Hello. Okay, there we go. And you got yours too, too, Lee, right here on camera. Hey. Alright, here we go. And two words to say. Oh, by the way. Oh. Chicken butt. <laughs> Alright, Jay. Third time. I'm gonna open this thing up. Oh, yeah. And drink it. <laughs> <laughs> no! <There we> <laughs> you killed Mario, whoever burned. 
I'm not sure. Okay, and guys, the way that my the way I'm gonna say my manners is might be a little sensitive or dirty for those who have sensitive ears. My manners are inside Mikey's erect penis. Wow! Big as on the hand. Uh, here we go. Uh, night two hundred four. Vast mass always brought you by ninety eight point three. The key. The K ninety two point one. Sunday one hundred six. 6.5. Damn it. Cool cabana. And also brought to you by the Big Buck Country 101.5. Try to stay at home for the country legends and the stars of NASCAR. Well, we're only two weeks away from Daytona and the Sprint Unlimited. So, um, hopefully all you my fellow NASCAR fans are ready. And, uh, actually, um, I'll be keeping y'all updated with the latest on NASCAR news from, that, from here until Daytona and throughout the season. On my Facebook page. Hi. And Eugene? It's also brought to you by Cozy101, currently home to a Saturday night party, and we have to say goodbye to the month of January for tonight since February is coming up tomorrow. And it's uh, also brought to you by 98.6, K O O P A, my music, my Koopa. And yesterday was my birthday, and it's sponsored by 1077 The Bone. And Cambor, you know what? The San Francisco Bay Area. Mikey, do you mind singing your little ditty to Alex since it was his birthday was yesterday? You know what? Uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Mikey. And yes, folks, before we get to the next sponsor, yesterday was my 19th birthday, so I want to thank Everybody for wishing me for a happy birthday, and there's a Koopa, but we'll get to that later. What we're going to talk about, talk about my Mega Spin couldn't be uploaded because I was reorganizing my room. And I'm going to be Nick tonight, so Nick, you're being taken over. <laughs> Alrighty then, and this is also been brought to you by Molasses. You sure, it may not the be the best. Th sure, it may not be the best thing for medicine or anything, but it's also good for waffles, pancakes, and French toast. Even if it's mixed with maple syrup. And so you. why not try? <laughs> and it's also been brought to you by... Let me get it up here. The Twizzlers filled the twists. Find these at your local Walgreens nearby. Ah, darn. At least it's not sponsored by Taco Bell. Mine was about Wednesday's Taco Bell. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting hungry for Taco Bell. Don't do it, Ben. <laughs> oh, but it is funny by Don't do it, I'm going to Taco Bell. Damn it. Hi, right, Koi, you up? Whoops, no Taco Bell for you. <laughs> Don't do it. And Mikey just pooped his pants. Do it, do it. <laughs> Don't do it, Corey. Don't say Taco Bell. Corey, you're a no, sponsor. No, no, no. Mikey just pooped himself. Corey. Corey. I'm here. I just said Mikey shat himself. No, you're a sponsor. Oh, hang on a minute. First off, Mikey shat himself. Thank you for that lovely contribution. It's Taco Bell.
Yes, I think the damn well Alex goes and empties his bowels for taco smell. <laughs> Pleasure by a second life. The only on the best side you can play a second fortune. Uh, I got you. Hang on. Oh, sorry, folks. It is just a night I really need to unwind anyway. We had a fun game the other night, too. Uh, we're back on the subject at hand here. It is also brought to you by, by Weasel.net Radio. Visit them online 24 7. Request any song you want. Plays it next. And it plays the best of all 80s music. And it's also brought to you by by 181.fm, where it's many different substations stream online, free and 24/7, ranging from the 80s, 90s to the aughts, current pop music and big band swing music and more, including the Beatles and much, much more. Visit them online at 181.fm. Click the substation radio station you want, and boom, you're streaming live. I was hoping it would do that again. <laughs> Alex hasn't come back yet. Hang on a minute. Let me get him a phone right now. Well, Cole gets to do that. It's also sponsored by NBC News Now, KNDU. NBC News Now, take your local info on this on KNDU.com. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, 100. Point one FM the Q and thirteen sixty KOHU playing country music and high school athletics. Ow. And it is gonna be the start of our brand new game show game one here on SNR. Hang on, we just got an extra sponsor. Oh, you jam so go for it. Okay. It's also brought to you by Amazon.com, the, the only online store where you can buy everything you want. Koopas, Crap Brothers, <laughs> books, whatever that thief wants. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Where did you buy Jay York again? It was on the like <laughs> Didn't he say Koopa? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, since I got the camera... Right yeah, same, that's Dr. Pepper too. Even though it's called Dr. Pepper, but it still tastes like it. Yep, and it's also sponsored by Dr. Pepper. I think he literally went to I know. He did? Yeah. I literally think he went just left the house to go to Taco Smell because <laughs> his cell phone went to machine. <laughs> oh my god! Hi, welcome to Taco Bell. Is this Alex? <laughs> Okay, let's compose ourselves. We got a brand new Games to Game 1. Now, last week, terribly, we've lost Real Fortune 91 for the NES. We had a great run. 10 games. Now, we're going to do a new Games to Game call. Classic Concentration. And guess what? <laughs> Hang on, Ben. You need to update Java. Hold on for a moment, folks. I finally updated Java. No, you didn't. Otherwise, that wouldn't be as a jar file. Oh, shoot. Bang. No, because I'm... Yeah, I was trying to uh, upgrade Java, but it won't let me. And I think I've already downgraded uh, it. You mean, uh, you need to upgrade it? <laughs> uh... What the hell? What the? It's not even there! That's what I was telling you. Why did you uninstall it? I didn't uninstall it. It was their idea. No, well, not the guy's Java's idea. Uh, hello, you mean it uninstalled old ones? Yeah. Be right back after the run for these messages.
Jeez. Now, welcome back to us. No, we haven't started the game yet. And already we hit. Hey, I haven't started it yet. I was just gonna say, welcome back. Have you used to know the world for Skycast with the Taco Bell? <laughs> and he comes at the back. I'm gonna laugh. But we did actually pick up Rubble Rubble Rager 1 with us. I Rubble Rager 1! Not Fought Rager 1! And Mikey just shot in his ass! Or two. Swear to God, boy, go white. <laughs> My hand is too good to wipe your shitty ass. Ow! All why right. Don't you, why don't you go fuck a turtle? Wait. No. Ooh. Why don't you stick your own head between your ass and lick it? I don't know how to lick my own dick. <laughs> before we lose it. Oh, fuck it, I've already lost. Oh, fuck. Here we go, let's do classic concentration. Sick. Behind each of these numbers is a puzzle. Can you solve it? Chef plus E plus Ace. Chevy Chase. You can do that. You have a chance to win one of these eight fabulous cars as we play Classic Carson Trajan. And we're going to do game number uno. And before we do that. There we are. Meters are. <laughs> No, no, we're turning. Number 13. Game 1. Oh, Jesus. Hang on a minute. Now, this is how it works. Oh, I about died of laughter there for a minute. Nah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on, folks. Ben, turn your audio on. I can't hear you. Okay, there we go. We now, this is how it works. We are going to do... How many games we're gonna do? Depends about, on how well we do. About three games. If they go quick, if, if they don't go quick, yeah. If they don't go quick, it's three games. If they go really fast, then we, then we do five. And if anybody has a webcam on, please tell us. It's Alex. On for But he's doing Taco Bell. <laughs> Oh well, we can't do He'll anything about that. He'll come back, don't worry. I can't wait to hear this when he comes back. Alright, All right. so... Hang on, let me type this. Alright, I'm gonna call first shots here. Bang. How about one? Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. No, 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 we gotta go, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. Number seven. Number there, twelve. There. Okay, computer player. Twenty is the man of cure kit and with fingernail oh, dryer. That's a cheap. That's cheap. Cheap low. I I'll stuff 
suck my dick off that computer's ass. What the hell? Psychopedia <laughs> book, 10, New York, 12, New York, 4. Do, 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 do. Now can Ben solve the puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Think about that. If either one first gets it, we will probably get give a try to solve the puzzle. Is it a, is it Jay York Jay York doing the is Easter it? egg dance? <laughs> Efficiency Expert E plus this events, hang on. E plus this event, French, plus C, E. Here, I got it for you. It's E plus fish, E fish, hen plus C, efficiency, eggs plus bird, efficiency, efficiency expert. And that's how we done it. Hang on a second, before you get to the bonus round. Before you get to do this, let me keep ahead. Here we go. Here we go. Power. Fusion hammer. Oh, save the hammer for last. Save the hammer for last. Two five. Three. Three. Yeah, it lurked on the screen share. We're not going to count that since that was lag massively. I'm guessing no screen share for the bonus. Yeah, no screen share on the bonus. Jesus. Since that half, I'm not going to count that one, but the 350 will go in, though. So, we're doing the next game, but not the... We're going to do game number two. You we'll know? the extra game after this to compensate for what happened there, which shouldn't have. Okay. That's just to be at least a little bit fair there for the viewers and stuff, since that was a royal uh, lag fest. Yeah. So we're not right, going to screen the share the bonus then. And then... All right, here we go. Cool, and now we'll be taking care of the bonus round. Two or seven. Here's the microwave oven. One little hot tub. Three. Okay, who's picking? I will. How about one? Green take. Fifteen. Go necklace. Nope. Hot tub. Ooh. I'll go next. All right. Six. Nine. <laughs> Green take. Ooh. Good move. Well, Jay would do that. Eleven. Cast part. Oh, you bitch. That's okay. It's only one. Calm down, boy. It's only the cast part. And it's worth $500. I'm going to take my dick and stick it up to the <coughs> back. Oh. What the hell? Fourteen. Red take. Ooh, who's next? I think that was... I'll go. All right. One and nine. One. Green take, there you go. Take the cash pot. We'll save that for now. Well, let's save that for now. Yeah, but you'll need the cash pot. Uh, yeah.
Yeah, but I thought I saw a match for the gold necklace, though. So. Alright, so Koi knows where the gold necklace is. Ten. Oh. Did it switch? No, I said ten. Twenty-two and ten. Oh no, wait a minute, it's not even ten. Thirteen, probably? Oh, we know where the bonus seconds are. I'm back. There's the look so far, and there's number six. Alright. Hey. Computer player got yeah, the... we just gotta wait for the computer player to screw up. And then, one of you guys will have to... One, one of the others will have been picked up. No, I'm gonna you. take that one since I know where the match is for the cash pot. Or the whatever it is. The bonus round. Throw. 12. 22. 19. I got it. 13, 13 19. And well, yes, we will use the retake on the cash pod. Whoa. Wah, wah, All right. Wah, wah. And Koi's got it is don't look at a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> Bonus round, and I'll get the bonus round next afterwards. And it's February. That's if a, that's if a second screw up happens, but I don't think it will. Yeah, for some of us it is already. <laughs> so some of them waiting yet. I slow this to January. Yeah. Take one of the brand new Hummer, Second and the bonus. Oh no, Jay Aubrey has been picked. No, Tim, as well. Yeah. 
Sorry, 10. 14. 14. What do we have? Ooh, in there, sweaters. Uh, 22. <laughs> I just guessed Damn. it, too. I guessed it. <laughs> Where'd it go? Damn. There's no heads right across to us. What'd I miss? Oh no, he's back! <laughs> I actually went to Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I told I have you. To show video. Can I show video quick? Yes. Okay. Oh no. Here's proof, folks. Welcome to Alex Taco Bell. <laughs> hey, Cole, yeah. if I'm from Boston right now, you get bigger consequences. <laughs> <laughs> he was yeah, actually craving Taco Bell. Yeah, I'm Taco Bell. Just beef burritos, that's all. <laughs> I'm not going to Taco Bell for that. Here we go again. <laughs> what the? Is that Robo? No. Yes, it is. It's... Yeah, that's Robo's voice, but Yuji was making the gassy noises. <laughs> no, it's just a beef burrito, that's it. I was gonna say All take right. a while, guess what? You threw it away. Well, <laughs> okay, Alex. You have been picked. So. Wait, 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 what? I'm playing? Everybody's picking. I'll no, just pick two numbers. Pick two numbers. Oh, God. One, uh, five and seven. Five. Five and seven. No, oh, just a TV. Why me? 19 mountain bikes. Oh, you picked it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Five, it. Five thirteen. Oh, Ben's playing. Yeah, we're always got to get picked yet. Hey, look, we got Rumble can pick next. Oh, we're taking turns. Okay. Hey, That's the top of our attack. That's a real power. Hi, Rumble. <laughs> Alright. Fifteen. Fifteen. Green tank. And seven. Tahiti. Ah. One. Computer play. Oh, Entertainment wow. center. Eleven. Mash. Oh, oh, you bitch. <laughs> well, the computer doesn't know, so... Well, I goofed yeah, up on the next, this early. next one. Is it next show? <laughs> oh, I know it. No worries. We just gotta get control. Stereo. Stereo. Three. Red take. Wild yeah. cards are still up there. Thank <laughs> you. Bless right. you. I'll be. Thanks. I guess I will. Twenty-five. Mountain bikes. No. Did we see these somewhere? Yeah, we did. Yes. Yep. If you know it, pick it. 19. Go ahead, pick it. There we go. Hits and her sweaters, hits and her watches. And the mountain bikes. It's a Metro Smart. M. M plus X. Max. Well, sm plus hot, smart, Maxwell smart. You are the man. <laughs> I can't believe I was actually went to Taco Bell. What's going on? I heard you, folks. Alright, uh, Cole, you want me to do it? I got it, yeah. Uh, I'll do it on the. I'll draw on the next one. I'm warning you guys, I might get gassy here, so be prepared. No, oh, no. <laughs> exactly like that. Holy crap, that was loud. Ready? Here we go, folks. Cross your fingers. Oh, mama. Hey, Mikey. Yeah, yeah, Robo? Is your profile pick that dude from Martin Mystery? No, that's from Jackie Chan of Banshee's. Ah. Oh. You, you remember Uncle? Oh, yeah, I, just, I remember that show. And Morphing! 
It kind of it kind of looked like Martin Mystery. <laughs> it's, it's Uncle from Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, Thirty seconds. The Dodge Caravan, twenty-two thousand five ninety-five. Twenty-five thousand one We haven't lost a single game yet. Yeah. And then Team Center. Well, that's a combined. Nice. Come on. Oh. Wow. oh that's an all match. match. That's 10. The bonus. That's an all match. match. Well, we don't need no stinking bonus. And by the way, this is the last one. This is my coverage. <laughs> Larry. Mountain bikes. Mountain bikes. Two. Two eighty. Twenty four. Same places. What? We got the same places. Three. I thought I had a prize. Sixteen. Hello. I haven't gotten any prize. I got one of them in a while. No. Blank. Retail price? Sixty-nine dollars. <laughs> How lovely. <laughs> Aubrey. Uh, uh. Aubrey. Wait a minute. Aubrey. Where is Aubrey? Aubrey Scott. I would like Aubrey Scott to come to the principal's office right now. Aubrey Scott to the principal's office <laughs> right now. Thank you. Yeah, Agent fun. Aubrey Scott. Agent Aubrey Scott. We need you in the emergency room. Pronto. <laughs> we got Taco Bell. We got Taco Bell. Attention, Aubrey Scott. Maybe he went to Taco Bell, Bell too. The principal's office. So I found feces on your desk. Maybe he didn't go to Taco Bell. Right there, there. I'll flip. Six. Hang on, well, right. hang on, he replied. I'm just going to need your emergency room, please. Yes, here he is, here he is, here he is. Go, oh, you stole <laughs> it! <laughs> Six and nine. <laughs> Give him six and nine. Green take, what's nine? Stereo. Ooh, now we know what the stereo is. No. Top the nine. Top the nine for the stereo. Oh, is it, uh, is it Alex Parab? Is the answer Alex Parab? No. <laughs> no, the answer is Taco Smell. Hi, Alex. According to Tim, however, the answer is How Dare You. Hi. My age, please. 19. Yeah. It's in her sweaters. Now that's where Tim gets on those. And seven. It would be the entertainment center. I don't pay attention. Green take. Green take. Yeah, I'm setting Alex, Alex a lifetime supply of Taco Bell. No! Uh oh, they got the green take. What was number 12? <laughs> Twelve plus is stereo. Yes, I know yeah. it. This I took to Tahiti. Red right take. Nope. Seven and... No, it's seven and seventeen, because I saw where the other entertainment center is. You just gave... You may have just given... <coughs> nope, he didn't get it. Someone's in Oink. Look, wait, wait, wait. 
Pissing on Suez? 19. Hey, 19, 19, 19. Yeah, because 722 is the entertainment center. Let's open a puzzle, see if you can solve it. Hey, I haven't picked yet! Right? Yeah! Let Eugene pick next. Hi, Eugene. See, uh, I don't think we did 23. Mountain bike. Ooh, the mountain bikes. And then I got the bonus round from here. Venus. <laughs> what was it? Tell us. 8th house of day 53. Oh, it's a biscuit round for Robo. <laughs> no, let's. What? 89,771. By the looks of this, folks, we are going to a two-part SNR. Yes, here we go. Hang on a minute. Just. So. There. SNR brought to you by the butt. Which is, we're going to move here one, Space Nets, number one. All right, let me go ahead and turn the screen share on. Hopefully something lucky happens here. Talk about uh, Alex the Taco Bell and Rebels Biscuits. <laughs> Can you all see it, folks? Oh, I threw you from a few weeks ago, Robo. Don't think I don't know what you said all this. Don't think I know what you said all this. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Number seven to start. Golf clubs. Golf clubs. 
Table lamps. Table lamps. Devon Pisces this time. Twenty three. Miami. Balloons over my. Oh. Twelve. Twelve and fifteen. Twelve. Twelve. Do I have to do my guessing picks again? Tim could fish up for another wild card. Nice. Oh, no. Bonus. The other bonus is at number 24. So this time we could reveal 9, 22, and 24. Mm-hmm. I do it again. Ha-ha. <laughs> Watches. Go crap. Thirteen. That's okay. The founder of Lolly, North Carolina? Yeah, that's the same guy. There we go. Alright, in the bonus. No, I got the bonus this time because it messed up. You said I could get this done fast. 45 seconds. 
frame from for the next 45 seconds for webcams. You frame it for 45 seconds. Here we go. Good luck, Ben. Off you go. Okay. Got the camera. Still, the time left on the clock. Still, nineteen thousand two ninety five. Twenty thousand two fifty four. Bring us to one hundred ten thousand twenty five dollars. Actually, I said that can't be it. It is it. $110,025. Let's see what the next one is. Let's see what the next one is. So, there you go. That's classic concentration for the PC. I got like great time on the portable wrapper. Okay. Let me do this again next week. Let's see if we can find the Viper. That's the biggest one? The, the, the Viper. Viper. That or the Dodge Ram. Okay. We've already won the damn ram on the game one. <laughs> damn ram. Da 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 Okay. Yeah, but the Viper is at a model $89,000. That's a huge Viper. Yeah, but all, you know. Well, no. Yeah, actually, the Viper is more expensive. Yeah, this is the most expensive car out there, I think. And it still winches up between eighty to over a hundred thousand. <whistles> but you never know. Unless you check on the Kelly Blue Book. But there you go, that's it for classic concentration for the PC. When we return, we're gonna be in the other bedroom and we're gonna have ourselves a feud with a computer player family. Why at the desk? Don't go away. Welcome back, Quad. Welcome back to Astronaut Right like Now. We are now going to do the PS3 game show game. In which every one of the subscribers' subscription and Skype guests will get the same exact score. On, and I just felt something that hurt. And I just Ooh. broke with laughter thanks to Nick and Ernie. Yeah. We are going to play Family Feud Decades for the PS3. Oh, yeah. Now, I was going to say Family Feud Decades for the Wii, but... In which it was already different to have the... Wii, but... I mean, when a contestant lost a tooth on the price is right, then she picked it up. <laughs> then she actually, when she picked it up, too, and then went out to her and said, it's there. Oh, yeah, but there was another episode where. Well, Oh, 
How about we go to the 80s? In Family Feud decades, the surveys and their answers are taken from the decade you're playing in. Mikey's penis. Uh, well, I'm gonna type penis and see what happens. How about that answer? Oh, it's not up there. Come on. Give us your answer, please. Do? You nope. have two strikes so far, and another oh, one answer, and you'll give the other family a chance to steal. Give us your answer, please. Oh. Oh. Is your answer there? Arms? Yes. Ooh. Give us your answer, Lakes. please. Is it up there? It's there. Number two. Do you What's have number an four? For us? <coughs> <coughs> Name a flabby part of your body. Arms and legs. How about your face? <coughs> <coughs> Is it there? Oh. Uh, Let's go to the other family. You can steal some points here. What's your answer? Is your answer there? Head. Sorry, that's not. Uh. No, you didn't steal. So the other family keeps the points. What else was there on the board? Number four, please. Hips. Oh, you daily hair. Oh, a butt? Round. Let's go. All right. Let's have a oh, two. We surveyed 100 people. Top four answers are on the board. Name something people wear on their ears. What? What's your answer? Glasses. Glasses. Will that answer do? Eyeglasses, number four. Try to give a better answer than what's Ever on the board. Son, Homer, he's been missing. Is your answer there? A hat. Sorry, not what we're looking for. Good luck. Feel like playing, or it's this Eerie. family's turn to play. Good luck. Your answer? Is it up there? Good number answer. one. What's your answer? Earrings, eyeglasses. Michael Biden. Good answer. Hair 
headphones. Hey, York. <laughs> Survey says. All right, it's up there. Oh. Let's hear your answer. Hearing aid. Show us the answer. Oh. Your answer isn't there. What's your answer? Earrings, headphones, and eyeglasses. Cameras. Is your answer there? Go oh, we set the board. You won. Start the third round where points count for double. It's time for the face. Where's that bad? We run the game. We surveyed 100 people. Top four answers are on the board. Name something that people sprinkle on salads. Croutons. What do you think? I have a crouton. Will that answer do? Croutons number two. Can you give a better answer? Is it up there? Dressing. Your answer isn't there. Ooh. You have control. We'll play. It's this family's turn to play. Good luck. Do you have an answer for us? Cheese. Let's hope it's there. Yes. Number four. What do you think? Bacon. Answer. Bacon yes. bits. What do you think? Bacon bits, crouton cheese. Um, Michael Batten's milk from the man boobs. Name something people sprinkle on salads. Put, no, wait, uh, cheese. Ben said, Ben said. said. So it, Ben said, Ben said, and the both already up there. Dressing. Ben said. Crap. Tomatoes, Ben said. Tomato. Was that a good answer? No, oh, sorry, that isn't huh? good. Give us your answer, please. Meat. Show us the answer. You have two strikes oh so far, another wrong answer, and you'll give the other family a chance to steal. What's your answer? What's that? Let's hope it's there. Sorry, that's three strikes. Let's see if the other family can steal. This is your chance to steal. No, if we get this right an now, we win the game. Isn't on the board. Then we don't have to go to a triple Let's round. Hope it's there. All men. It's not, we go to, we are going to fast money. No, you didn't steal, so the other family keeps the points. Wait, Let's see what, the what other was number three? Were. Let's see number three. Salt! The round is yours. What? Let's start the fast money round. Salt? You'll answer five Salt. survey questions. Wow. If you win 200 points... Oh, yeah, because it has sodium. You win $20,000. Name a kind of attraction you see in almost every parade. Oh, my God. Uh... You know, that was, that was the same as that question on the real show. I know, it makes it a merry-go-round, but I'll take the money. Name an activity you do during a typical evening at home. Yeah. 
Name an activity you do do in a typical evening at home. Name an occupation that to many young girls seems glamorous. Name an occupation that too many young girls seem glamorous. A model. Give me another word for child. Yeah. And finally, name uh -oh, something you find in a swamp. <laughs> oh Jesus. Name something you find in a swamp. Oh, oh yeah! I will say... You know what? What the hell? I will say... <laughs> you know what? Alex Parkrod. <laughs> what? Balloon. Zero. Survey says. Sleep. Two. Survey says. Model. That was the top answer. Seventy-two. For your fourth answer. Survey says. Kid. Number one. And Alex Pross. Fifth and final answer. Survey says. Name a kind of attraction you see in almost every parade. I got a little suggested. Yeah, it's like, yeah. If I was up on the board and Mikey was right, me and Mikey would have had a little bit of a time. Well, not really. It's all for fun, folks. Don't worry about yeah, it. And, <laughs> and guess what? If you don't like it, you know what you can all do? Eugene, get the honors. Don't like our jokes? You can kiss our ass. Okay. Uh, now who's who's going second? By the way, Eugene. Yep. Okay. Are you ready? Bring it on. Name a kind of traction you see in almost every plane. A weed. Name an occupation that to many young girls seems glamorous. A ballet dancer. Give me another word for child. Give me another word for child. Mikey said kid, right? Yeah. Oh, I got one. Adolescent. Oh, yeah, good one. What? Adolescent. Adolescence or adolescent? I've never heard of that word. Adolescent. Name something you'd find in the I just looked up for a better word for child and my name's there. And on the sentence examples, just my first name. Name something you find in a swamp. I'm quite an alligator, I'm on fight. Crocodile. <laughs> Here we go. For your first Me 49. Answer. Survey says, this was 23. Answer. Oh. Survey says, 26. Third answer. 16 Survey to go. Says, I don't know what that seems. 16. Oh, come on, 16. Oh, barely made it. Yeah, but I went to... 
You win $20,000. Congratulations. See you next time on Family Feud. What? The second question, I almost said having sex with Michael Fatten. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, everybody. $228, $20,000. Everyone's going to get $20,000. So it's a win-win for everyone. So Come. we have seven people on the call, so $20,000 divided by seven. We each get $2,857. So, no, actually, it's $20,000 goes to everybody. The whole 20000 Yeah, the whole 20000 That's 140000 Bingo. Well, it goes to uh, Skycast, Koi, subscribers, and subscriptions. Hi, Mikey. Hi, Mikey. Hi, Mikey. Of course, a couple of legs, we got another game show game in which... It's going to be a, a game show game that's going to be in form of letters and puzzle. Why after this? Don't go away. Alright. Welcome back to... Whoops. No, if there was a game show called Whoops, I was not going to make it. Welcome back to as an R. As I'm trying to fuck. With the camera. <laughs> Yeah, I just said it. You did it again. Good night, everybody. You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. We're going Coming to do. Next. We're going to do a game show game again, but it's gonna be a game show game. Is it's gonna be a game show show a game show it's showdown. Done. There we go. And we're gonna play now. Four on the table. It's not Big Jones, we're gonna do now you see it. I thought that was a Big Jones game. No, it's not. Well, it's no, not Big Jones. There's two different types of ones. The one I have and the other one's Big Jones. But this one is not Big Jones. Oh, well, this is a different one. Yeah. Yeah, a... I got it from a friend. I won't tell the, say the source, though, unfortunately. Just for anonymity's sake. Yeah, we're filming, too. Yeah. So, all that's just it. Yeah. But anyways, we we are we're gonna play now. You see it. Now you see it. It's gonna be Eugene against Nick. And, okay, now what to hit on the button? Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that I screen see share? It. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like the lingo control that you have. Yeah. Now, Cole's gonna probably help me out on which controls to hit. I'll tell you as, as prompts come in. Click the dollar sign next to number seven. No, oh, come in. Get the door. Hello, everybody. My name's. Reed. All right. I'm Reed. Just film. Let's right, play. Nick, now. Eugene, can you see the screen share? <laughs> what? Can you see the mouse? Nick, you uh, see mouse the going. Share? Yeah, I see it. I see it. Okay. Alrighty, you guys, in a few minutes, you'll see the board for a few seconds, and then once it goes away, I'll start answering, I mean, asking you questions. If you think you know the answer, buzz in. No. And then call out the line, either one, two, three, or four. If you're right, the board will isolate, and then pull up the column 
grid line, which would be from 1 to 14, and then you're... Oh, man. I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it. It came up. I don't know, it just came up by itself. That's weird. Wow. Weird. Huh? Wow, talking about weird because my Toshiba laptop went out doing commercial and now this. Probably a from the laptop, Durbin. Okay. Shrink this damn thing again. And, um, for your teen and neck, you need to have your dial pad. Okay. All right, All right that's next. Justin. And your teen. All right. Good. Awesome. Now, as I said, when you know, if you think you know the answer, call out the line number and the position number, and then say the answer associated with it. Okay. okay. You guys got the rules? Seven again. Yeah. Alright, you guys got the rules down? Oh. Yep. Yeah. And Nick, do you got it down as well? Yes. Alright. Number okay. seven. Number seven. Alrighty, guys, if you're ready, let's bring on the big board. Who was trained as an Israeli sniper? Eugene. Uh, line one, Ruth. Tab. Uh, you gotta get the position number. Oh, line one. Number six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Tab. Alright, tab again. Alrighty, now, here we go. Let me buzz Eugene, Eugene in. Enter key, Ben. Alright. Alright, here we go, next one. And uh, for future reference, you just call the first letter number of that line. Once you get the correct line, you just call it the first number of the position that the answer starts on. All right, Fine. here we go. Next one. What do Americans love to buy at movies, but you can't buy in Russia? Again, what do Americans love to buy at movies, but you can't buy in Russia? You guys movies? Yeah. Oh, wait, did Eugene buzz in? No. Uh. Alright, right. who buzzed in first? I did. Okay, and to clarify on to Eugene, yes, he did say the movies. Okay. Nick, call your line number. Line three. One, two, right, seven. Alright, tab one spin. Now your position number, Nick? One. Answer? Through seven. No, 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 you just say the the, the name of the answer. Popcorn. Alright, popcorn. 
There you go. Tap again, Ben. Yeah. There we go. And. Enter key, Ben. There you go. There we go. Here comes the next one. Who was the first U.S. president born in a hospital? Was that? Was that you, Eugene? Yeah. All right. All right. Position. I mean, line number first. Excuse me. Line one. Position one. Carter. Correct. All right. Shift tilt key, Ben. Shift tilt. Shift tilde, T I L D E. It's the shift key and then the tilde key, the, the first key next to the number one. Left arrow key. Enter key. I'm back. There All you right. go. Next one. All right. Here we go. Welcome Here back. we go. Next question, guys. What part? A Betty Grable's body was insured by Lords of London for one million dollars. Nick. Who was that? That's me. Line three, position eleven. Tab in. Legs. Correct. Alright, next uh, for the button bend, press the shift double line key. The the key that's right before the delete key. The I mean the backspace key, excuse me. No. All right, I got it for you. Got it. There we go. All righty, next question. Nine and eighteen. This is going on. Your brother's daughter would be your what? Your brother's daughter would be your what? Eugene. Eugene. Hello? Hang on. We're going to be fair. Hang on. Yeah. Okay. Line two, position right. 10, meet. That is correct. Tab Line two, position ten, me. We got it. Alrighty, hit. There you go. Left arrow. There you go. Next question. <coughs> what rugged? Hang on a minute. What rugged star is known for his movies with powerful guns and cute chicks? Nick. Line four, position ten, Woods. No. It is line four. Isolate it once, Ben. Don't press it again. Eugene, three shot. Give me the position number. What rugged star is known for his movies with powerful oh, guns and crap. cute chicks? Five seconds. Oh. Line Time. three? No. It was no. on four. Unfortunately, it was position six, Eastwood. I don't know. It was... It was Eastwood, Eastwood. position six. Enter. At halftime, it is 21 to 18. Close game. Alright. Here we go with the second half. Enter. Oh! Here we go. Next question, guys. Speaking of Eastwood, Eastwood was the mayor of what California city? Again, Eastwood 
Oakland was the mayor of what California city? Five seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Time. Time. The correct answer was that was line two. Position three, Carmel, California. No score, we move on to the next one. Oh. What once polluted river now serves as London's clean water supply? What once polluted river now serves as London's clean water supply? Eugene. Eugene. Hang on. Mine the wall. All right. Nine one. Nine one. Position number. Position eight. Ten tens. Got it. That is correct. The tens. Isolated Ben. Buzz him in and give him the points. There we go. Next one. What is the cooking term for setting your dessert on fire? What is the cooking term for setting your dessert on fire? Five Eugene. seconds. He's having internet. Let's wait. Eugene. Yeah, we lost him. Yep, it's his internet. We'll wait for him to get back. We'll wait for guy. it. Corey, see my message in the chat box. Next, we're going to do the club challenge number two. Eugene will probably get on his cell phone. I don't know what's going on. If not, then someone's going to have to fill in for him. I'll fill in for him. All right. There we go. Better than uh, uh, wasting the video and stuff. All right. He'll probably get it on his cell phone. And what we'll do, you got your dial pad? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. And you know the rules here, so oh, I don't... Eugene's back. Oh, hang on. You there, Eugene? Yeah.
Eugene? Much better. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Can you see the screen share again, Eugene? Yep. Okay. Okay, I would just refrain from uploading or anything. That also kills your internet sometimes. I've learned that. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Yep. I'll reread the question again here. Here we go, guys. <laughs> what was the first name of the working girl who was about to marry Don, uh, Don Johnson for the second time? Who was that? It's me. Nick. 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 Line two, position six. Yes. Isolated. Hang on, Nick. We gotta wait for Ben to isolate it. Tap key, Ben. All right. Uh, Mark. Oh, hang on. There we go. Now try it. Yes. All right. Now you're in Line. position number and answer, Nick. Position six, Melanie. All right. I'll accept it. Go ahead, Melanie. I got this side for you, Ben. There we go. Enter key, Ben. There we go. Thank you. Here we go, guys. Next question. All right, nine points. You're down by nine, Nick. You need this one. Here we go. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh lives in the hundred acre what? Nick. Line four, position ten, first, wood. Got it. Go ahead, yep. buzz him in and give it to him. Oh, wait, I, I no, got to. I mean, yeah, Corey's going to do the white. I'm going to do the left. Corey's going to do the white. Alrighty. There we go. Next question, guys. Nick has the lead by five. <clears throat> okay. This symbol is bald and a bird. What's that? It's me again. Alright. Nick. Line three. Position yep. eight. Eagle. That is correct. Well done. And. Next winner! Number seven, Ben. Oh, this is gonna be fun, Nick. Alrighty, Nick, are you ready? Yeah. Alrighty, here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna ask you a question. What you'll do is, is you'll just call out the answer to to that question associated from the grid there. If you're right, you'll get a hundred dollars per every correct answer. If you don't know an answer, just say pass and we'll come back to it. Alright. If you can get all 10 in 60 seconds, you'll win 10,000 bucks. Alrighty, Ben, here's how this is going to work. When I prompt you, you'll press the space bar to light the board up. Alright. And then to isolate the answer, if Nick calls it out correctly, you'll use the number keys 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0 for the 10th one. Alright. And then what about the line? And to uh, bump up the cash meter, you press the up key for each correct answer. All right. And to start the clock, you'll hit the enter key. And what to stop the clock? And to reset the board, it'll automatically stop once uh, a win occurs. It won't stop. Uh oh. The clock won't stop until a win occurs. That's the only thing. Okay. Now. Now, um, to reset the board back after an answer is found, you just press the space bar to reset it. Okay, and then what about with the column and line? It's just one through zero. Okay. All right. So one being the first correct answer and zero being the tenth. All right. So you got it? Okay, run me down again one more time. One through zero, meaning one is the first correct answer and zero being the tenth. 
Alright. You press the up key to up the cash meter by 100 each time for each correct answer. Alright. Enter key is to start the clock. Space bar is to reset the board back after an isolated answer. Alright. Alrighty. Are you ready, Nick? Yes. You'll get a, a few minutes to look at the board and then you tell me when you're ready, okay? Okay. Here's your bonus board, space bar. Take a few seconds to study the board and let me know when you're ready. <laughs> Are you ready, Nick? Almost there. Okay. No. After game one, we're going to transfer the videos. It'll be taking a little bit of a break and then we get... Yeah, I think I'm ready now. Two. Alrighty, good luck, Nick. Take a deep breath and good luck. Here we go. Alrighty. Time won't start until after I finish the first question. Here we go. Hitchcock movie that takes place at the Bates Motel. Pass. A baby angel. A what? Baby angel. Again. A crispy pancake. Waffle. Number three. Up. Oh, space bar. This could end a game of pinball. Pass. Exotic red gem. No, next one. Woodwind instrument. Alright. Ah. It was a tough board. Tough board. But hey, you still managed to get one right at least. Alrighty. Here we go. You didn't get sight? Here we go. A Again, bit. first question. Hitchcock movie that takes place at the Bates Motel. That was line two, position five, Psycho, number one. Uh -huh. Don't reset the board. Here comes your next answer. A baby angel, which was a cherub, number two, was found here. There it is. And you found number three, which was a crispy pancake waffle, number three. Number four. This could end a game of pinball. Tilt, number four. Was there? Number five, exotic red gem, which was line one, position 11, ruby. Woodwind instrument, oboe, was line three, position seven. Number seven. What Tony Danza first did for a living, which was line three, position one. Box. Eight. Mm -hmm. Number eight. <clears throat> Here we go. The Mormon church in Utah has a famous one, which was line two, position eight. Choir. The choir. type of neck of choir. The Mormon tabernacle. Mormon Tabernacle Choir, one of the most famous ones. Number nine. Superstar who called his flame Lisa Marie. Line four, position three. Oh, ho, 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 Presley. And finally. And finally. The company that makes the 747, which was line three, position eight. Boeing. Boeing. 
But hey, don't feel too bad, Nick. You managed to get one right for $100. And we're going to convert what you got into points as well. So, uh, and we'll give you that final total once the video posts. $158. So $158. Not too bad, Nick. Thanks. Hi. Right. We're going to stop. Well, thank you for playing. Thanks. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna stop right now, folks. But we'll be back for game two in just a little bit. That's all I was gonna say. Welcome back to SNR. Right now we are going. We are going to play a plug and play game. This will be the second time it will be played in SNR. What kind of plug and play cons console and game we're gonna play? You're gonna shit yourself when you're gonna say hello to the Atari 2600. <laughs> the Atari gaming collection goes back to 1970s. Let's well, back to 1979. The game, Missile Command. Now I'm gonna double check to make sure it works with. No, it comes with the controllers, just like the Atari 2600. One little problem they did, they made, because it's the flashback. They um, they de um, they made the Atari controls. Okay. If you want to move something, yeah, it goes a bit off and it's a little bit flimsy. So, I want to test it out with. I know what you're gonna say. Test it out with the Sega Genesis controller. By any chance? Oh, how about that? It does. It worked. It worked. Finally. We're gonna have fun. And also, we're gonna make this times two. Now, I'm going to have my Skype guest, according to Chloe, is going to see this, so... So, let me put in full screen so you guys kiss. Oh, wow. Can you guys see? Almost. It's like, it's like, it's 1979. Whoa, I know, I gotta fix the angles to this, so. Can you guys now see? Yeah. Let me turn off the lights too, cause what's perfect, we can play the Atari games. In the dark. Speaking of dark, I'm in the dark along with my Elton and Eugene and Nick and Robert. We're all in the dark. We're playing Missile Command. Despite the fact I have my projector on, which I do have a projector on my 19th birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Thank you, Robo.
stop the cell. Not bad. Yeah. I told him don't jump the cell. Um, wow. So I hate Alright. Nice. Hang on a second guys. I'm gonna get me a deck of controller, so I'll be back.
It's a long jump in there. Oh, all right. What did you put down? You can say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say it. Say orange juice. Why not? Yeah. Get more uh, what is orange juice? You gotta put in the form of a sentence, but I will accept it since this is. Okay. Oh. I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh, we were having a little Jeopardy fun. Little Jeopardy jokes. Both Robo and the dead one. They both tied. No, it wasn't a real game. You were just waiting for your play. Okay. Yeah, Jeopardy think. You just fly to the god. There we go. Atari 2600 or the... Yeah. Now look this up. 1977. Wow. 77, huh? Wow, and it got discontinued January 1st, 1992. Wow. It's not forward compatible. Twenty fifty. Now, I kind of, I like, you know, I like how the Atari games uh, actually play, it's like. Oh, crud. Can I say, have you guys, um, watched Pop 3 at the, uh, not Pop 3, Pop 4 of, what, of Jason Mark's, um, video about the Atari games? And they mentioned about, how they play the Atari games in the dark and it lights up the whole room. Um Oh wow. Uh, Nice. Um, what video was it? Um, I said it was the next right? Uh, it's part four Atari game, Atari 2600 games continued. Never seen it. You never seen it? No. Oh, that's great. They were talking about space games and. It's like the, at the end, they was talking about how they play the Atari games in the dark, because it's like set the room. It's fun. I should probably try it sometime. Sure. Even though I never played it, but I think I would agree. 
No, it's fine, actually. No. Yeah. Uh, I because remember, the, the Atari 2600 was the first home console released in the 1970s. Close. Oh wow, destroy that home. Well, wow, destroy that home. Got three left. Uh-oh, I am screwed. Want some more? Yep, I'm out. I can't it's shoot. Tougher. It's tougher, tougher, tougher. Game over. Nice. <laughs> I, I did say this is. Will you guys see it? Do you guys see it flash? It's like I said before, when you play an Atari game, or any all Atari games that that's fun to play in the dark, it really brings out the most color in the room. So, yeah, it is fun. You almost had 10,000, you got 9,900. 9,900. If the only place was actual currency. I have, you know, I have no idea. The hell would be 
Perfect. Now, I would say to this, because this is how you play the Atari, it's actually a lot, lot of fun, because you're playing the actual first, you know, the first home console game ever made. So destroy. Two homes left, and I don't want them to be that story. Okay, that one off. Nice. Now that's how you end a night. Thirteen thousand one eighty five missile command. That's how you end a perfect Saturday night. So Let's get that game another round of applause. Alright. Oh, man, that's fun. But I hate to be the party pooper. But the night is over for us. Aww. Yeah, but if you actually love this or any other more arsenal, 
head over to my YouTube page at Dennis of Chave 7 playlist. Every every other episode of Asna is there. Don't forget to follow Asna on Twitter. Well, hopefully next week we will probably give you a preview of what's in the game or what's coming in the games. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> some more fun. Well, that's it for all night two or four of us now. As always, I would like to thank Subscribe Gifts for being part of it. And of course, we will. Oh, before we do this, I got a question for you all. Now, since tomorrow is Super Bowl, who's gonna win? Seahawks or the Patriots? And are you gonna enjoy the commercials? And don't forget, Katy Perry is gonna perform at halftime. To you guys at home, the question, who's going to win? And once this is posted, the second half to the question, did you enjoy it? I sure did enjoy it, man. Comment on the video below. So as I would like to thank this guy, guest. You're welcome. For an awesome night, two or four of us and all, we would like to thank you for watching. As and all. And of course... Actually, we'll be see you next week, night 205 of SNR. And of course, I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Bye. Take care. Bye.